All right, what's up guys? We're back out here in these beautiful, sunny Miami streets. Out here in these Miami streets, guys, and we're in this amazing arts district called Wynwood. So, not quite sure where the vlog's going, but we're gonna wander around. We're gonna see what we can find, what's interesting, to get some footage for you guys, get some content, maybe do a food review, as that's what we do on this channel. And yeah, to see why I won. But guys, before we go any further with this video, I need you guys to give me your humble opinions what my guy Miami Mark is wearing today so he's hit us with a two-piece it's got Popeye on it it's got some dollar bills and he was he was saying this is what I'm wearing whether you like it or not I'm wearing this whether it damages your image or credibility I'm I'm rocking this and you know what you've got to do you got to wear what you want to wear you got to pop your ish pop your ish Mark yeah mate, yeah, mate. Anyway, man, we're out in these beautiful sunny streets of Miami, Florida, man. We're out here. Very, very dope wall mural here. Incredibly dope. So, dope mural here. Big even got pack. Is that ODB? Yeah. ODB, okay. We've got ODB as well. So guys, this is pretty much my dream car, Dodge Challenger. I mean, obviously I'd go for the Scat or the Hellcat, but this is pretty dope. Tell me guys, would I suit driving this car? I think so. I think I definitely see this driving this car for sure. So Miami Mark has actually had two compliments already for his fit. Like, so he's two. He's made a game that apparently every compliment he gets, he gets a point for. Yeah. But I don't, I'm not quite sure how I score points. I think it's if someone cusses Wait, him out for wearing so it. But someone either cusses me out or um, cusses me out or rates your outfit. That's how you get points. Rates my belly. I, don't, I just, yeah, I feel, I feel like you've got an unfair advantage wearing that. But, you know. You've got a good fit. You always look good, Tom. Alright, 2-0. You're 2-0 then. We'll play the game. Well, that te I technically complimented you now, so I'm just giving you a point to make you not feel so bad. <laughs> but, yeah, this is dope, Brando. This is really cool. Very dope. Yeah, it's a vibe. It's a vibe. So, we have just found a food market with some independent street food vendors. And I'm actually looking for what I really want to try while I'm out here in Miami is a uh, conch salad. I know it's a bit of a Miami thing, but it doesn't seem like there's too many places you can go. You, like, you've either got to go to like Carroll City or Open Locker, kind of the areas that would be dangerous for tourists. So we're kind of deliberating whether we should actually go and like fly by one of them areas just to try a conch salad. But if there was somewhere in this market that did a conch salad, oh. Look at that, just as I was saying it. Just as I was saying it. But have they got the conch salad? Have they got the fritters? So, so far we've got green pepper and green onion. Green pepper and right? onion, yep. And, and we, we got, got tomato. Tomato, okay. And that's the conch. Yeah, that's the conch right there, yep. Am I saying that right? Conch, yeah. Conch, conch. yep. Not conch, that's conch. The cucumber. No, conch. Conch. Some okay. people say conch, but no, in it's the Bahamas conch. they say conch. Conch, okay. This right here is basically spicy pepper, orange, lime, okay. So is this is this like a it's a uh, Caribbean thing? Or, yeah. So or this specifically is Bahamian. So Bahamian. Bahamas is this chain of islands right here. It's about yeah. 600 keys and chains. Those are like the main ones. My wife from Nassau. Oh really? Okay. So this is authentic. So this, is, this is basically how you have it if you're in Nassau. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's just orange, lime, uh, spicy pepper. And okay. then this is like the classic conch salad. There's different versions of it. There's like scratch, co scotch conch. Okay. There's tropical conch salad. Because they have like different ingredients in it. Is, it, is there? A, there's a Miami conch as well. Is that? Well, so we do have Florida conch. We're yeah. just not allowed to fish for it. It's actually federally illegal. Okay. So like we have our waters are chock full of it, but there is none. Okay. What you will find is like in the Key West, you'll find they'll have their own version of conch fritters, conch salad. Okay. And cool. He's gonna plate it up for you. Cool. Sugar, yeah? Su no. Salt. 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 Okay. Pretty healthy as well.
finally we got the conch salad. I've been wanting to try this. I'm glad we just stumbled across this place because it's saved the trip to a dangerous trip to the hood to get it. So this is good. So you see, guys have seen the ingredients. It's a little different from what I, from what I expected, like ingredients-wise, and I didn't really know what it is. But without further ado, conch salad here in Miami. Let's go. Tell me, you're gonna experience a hell of a lot of different sensations and flavors, and he's right. So you've got a bit of everything. You've got kind of it's definitely spicy. Spice is the overwhelming thing, but it's also very juicy and refreshing. And a little sour, a little salty is a bit of everything in this. It's kind of like it's kind of like a salsa. That's what it reminds me of. It's a pretty healthy meal. This is just pure salad, man. So this is probably what I need. When you're in America, anytime you can get your hands on a salad, I'd recommend it because. Woo! I got fried oil. This is spicy. This is spicy. Really, I need to try the actual conch meat. That's the conch meat. So, very, very firm. A lot firmer than I thought. I thought it's going to be kind of. I don't know. I thought it's going to be softer than that. It's a sweet meat. It's actually quite sweet. There's no like fishy taste or anything like that. But it's actually it's not quite as firm when you when you got it in your mouth. <laughs> Cut that, but scrub scrub that, all right. Cut that. Okay. It feels firm, but it does you can bite into it easy. It's not like chewy. That's what I'm trying to say. It's not chewy. It's a damn good conch salad. I tell you what, guys, it is hot out here. It is very very hot. It's like 30 degrees in Celsius which feels like 32 because it's a humid heat, so it's very hot. Mark, Miami Mark, my camera guy right now, is struggling in the seat. But he's sat there, cushioned in the shape, so you'll be right, it's fine. Yeah. Intense flavor bomb, I guess. So, rate it out of 10. I've got to go nine out of 10. It's, it's something new, something I've had before. It's healthy, it's got all the type of flavors I like. Spice, a little bit salty, a little bit sour, a little, it's just a bit of everything, really. It's a bit of everything. It feels like I'm eating something healthy. I wish there was a little bit more of the conch meat. If I had to like criticise one thing about it, I wish there was a little bit more of the meat, but it's good though, it's all good. So we just pulled up at a Target, which I know that my daughter Aurora will be hella jealous of because she loves Target. We don't have Target in the UK, but she's watching all these YouTubers going to Target, choosing toys, as many toys as they can get in the trolley within like a minute or whatever, whatever it is. So she knows about Target. She's always wants to go there. This is like goals. This is like Aurora's Grail Target. So we're gonna go in Target and I'm gonna see if I can pick something up for Aurora because, you know, obviously I wanna bring her back a gift and I'll definitely Araya as well. Araya's obviously younger, not too, not too fussed about toys, but we'll see if there's something we can bring back. Hopefully something that you don't get at home. So hopefully it won't be your regular, regular stuff. Let's have a look in Target. In this way, man. Like, it's, there's definitely a few things over here in the US that are confusing us, like getting in shops. For some reason, we can never find the doors for the shops. We never know how much to tip. There's a few things that keep throwing us off, but I bet you're happy to be near, though. Oh, yes. Yeah, Miami Mark is not feeling so Miami at the moment. He's struggling with the heat. I mean, we have been having a few drinks, so you know, the hangover and the heat don't really go together, right? Definitely. But, <laughs> I'm the type of guy that I do love heat. I love being in the hot weather. But it's quite nice to be in this air conditioned shop, I'm not gonna lie, guys. Miami Mark has said I need to find a toy within a minute because that's what the other YouTubers do. So let's go. When does my minute start? Three, two, one, go. go. Surely a minute's like almost up already. Huh? Stop. 
this challenge is not, is not going to work. I think I need a bit of time to look. <laughs> come on, come on, Tom, come on. You, you keep going. You got about another thirty Wait. seconds. That's quite cool. That's like the not sort of thing you get at home. All right, I'm gonna get one of these because that's okay. a different type of doll. Perfect. I don't know if you like it or not, but. And then. Alright guys, so now, second meal of the day, well actually third technically because we have breakfast, we're actually in Raising Canes, we found a Raising Canes out here in Miami, pretty cool, pretty cool, I've got to say though, last time I ate Raising Canes I wasn't that impressed, I had it in Ab Abu Dhabi and I thought it was like very, kind of flavourless really, but we'll give it a go, we'll give it another go in Miami, we've got a chicken sandwich this time instead of the fingers, so yeah I'm going to give it a go, but I'm actually going to do a little review of this on my YouTube shorts so if you want to go and check out a Raising Cane's review go and check out my YouTube shorts anyway guys I'm going to end this video here for me and my Miami Mark here still in the two piece not by two piece it's not going anywhere I was hoping he might get changed but nah he's not he's not changing so anyway I'll see you guys in the next video I appreciate you guys for watching the end